Yeah, I need I need her to not draw a Lone Fire Blossom, which is normally what decides if you beat a Kiza or not. If she draws Lone Fire Blossom, probably lose, especially with this deck. If she doesn't draw Lone Fire Blossom, probably fine. Oh, I didn't realize I would get rid of Miracle Fertilizer. Nice. 1200 defense, gotta attack with you. Bum, bum, bum. Anyways, I won't make any promises about the Bakugan DS game. Maybe if I, if I, I am 100% because I want to, I'm going to stream playing the uh, Bakugan Wii game because I really enjoyed it. And it's not a super long game anyway. It would probably be like three, maybe four streams max. I don't need, I'm not even sure if it would be three streams to be real with you. I might be able to beat it in two streams. I don't remember it that well. But uh, that one I want to do, so we'll do that one. But uh, you're gonna attack my Genix Turbine, aren't you? Because you're 50 attack higher. Oh, thanks for attacking Krebons. That's way better for me. If people enjoy watching that playthrough and they want to see something else Bakugan on the channel, then I guess I would probably do Defenders of the Core at that point. Do I have enough to end you? 18, 3, 48. Wow, am I short 50? No, no, no. I think I'm 150 over. No, I'm I'm 50 over. Yeah, I <laughs> 50 over. Wow, that's amazing. Crab ends. Crab, 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 crab. I did it! I win! Victory! Total duel bonus. One. <laughs> Alright, she didn't draw Lone Fire Blossom. That was really lucky for us. Oh my goodness, I'm dead? She still can't fully control her power. I'm sorry, I wanted to control my psychic powers, but they just came out. Ah, uh, Akiza! You can throw me around with your psychic abilities all you want. I'll just leave it at that. You can you can fill in the blanks. You must still be a little tired. Just take the rest of the day off. But Akiza, look into my eyes. My special eyes. My brand! I'm sure our friend over there will be okay. There's no need for you to worry. Yes, sir. Yeah, just look at how purple my hair is. I've clearly gotten main character powers. Like, I'm a protagonist. Don't worry. The next day. You're awake now, right? So you start dual runner training today? Well, we're in the same boat. If we become really good, we might be awarded with a dual runner. I'll go on ahead. All right, dual runner nonsense. Turbo duels? Totally cool with. The little mini game they make you do in this game where you actually have to drive the motorcycle? Could do without. Could definitely do without. What's this little corner here, huh? This little cubby. I think in the post game there are like some unique people you can duel there or something, I don't remember. Um, where do I go? Over here? Yeah, this is it. Yo, you're Rogue, right? Sure am, Kawasaki. The name's Kawasaki, I'm in charge of dual runner race training. Nah, you're almost up, just wait a few more minutes. Nah, hey Rogue, that was my first time riding, it was harder than I thought. You've gotta watch out for the obstacles or they'll really slow you down. Next up is Rogue, come and holler at me when you're ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready for my promotion. Rogue, you ready? You can ride your dual runner to your heart's content. Let's do it. All right then, go burn up the course. Which screen do I want for this? This one. Here we go. The part of the game that everyone definitely wanted. Driving a motorcycle. This is what I want when I'm playing a Yu-Gi-Oh game. Who needs card games? 
So we wanted to make Yu-Gi-Oh more appealing to nine-year-olds. So now we have them play card games on motorcycles, but that wasn't cool enough. So we got rid of the card games part, and now it's just dudes on motorcycles. Our research shows that kids love dudes on motorcycles. Whee! What on earth was that spire thing right there? What kind of an obstacle is that? I thought... I thought in Reverse of Arcadia they added stuff onto the map, like DP you could pick up and cards you could pick up? Was that an over the Nexus only thing? I'm not gonna make this jump on this bike. Yep, this bike sucks. This bike is not good enough to make that jump. But I don't understand why they put it in this starting one. I'm pretty sure I was going max speed there, or really close. Bum, 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 bum. Anyways, this doesn't take long. There aren't many of these little mini games where you have to ride the thing, but one of the worst parts of the game is one of these little mini games later. We'll deal with it when we get to it, though. It is in this game, just not the first track. Ah, okay, cool, that makes sense. Nice time, if you can keep that up, you'll be in excellent shape, buddy. Very nice, Rogue, you don't ride like a newbie at all. Come on, be honest, you've ridden some before, haven't you? Nah, you wouldn't keep something like that from me. Guess you're just a natural. Rogue, is that you? Ah, my brain. I've turned up the prototype dual runner I was holding on to for you, or tuned up, my bad. You synchro summoned a dual runner? Rogue, you take your dual runner and go ahead. Get a move on. Crow's headband? Do those metal rings on his headband not look, like, wildly uncomfortable? Wouldn't they be pressing up against his forehead constantly? That seems awful. Hey, it's Rogue! How's it going? Yo, Kowloon! You don't look so hot. Are you okay? Do you know that guy? Well, if it isn't you, say Fudo. How about you stay out of my business? Somebody take him back to headquarters. Dot, dot, dot. Rogue, are you okay? You say this doesn't concern you. Please leave at once. Later, dude. Rogue? What's going on? Dot, I'm back in my pod. I'm seeing a decrease in the level of consciousness, sir. At this rate, the subject will pass out on us. So the brainwashing is wearing off? That's right. It appears that the subject experienced a great shock related to a past event. You say Fudo. Time and time again, he keeps getting in my way! If he gets any closer to this one, it could spell big trouble for us. Let's strengthen the brainwashing so our subject can better resist these pests from the past. But the brainwave isn't stable. If we push it too far, we could endanger the subject's life. Hmm, I see. We can't afford to lose such an important asset. Preserving the subject's life takes top priority. We'll have to conduct more brainwashing again later. Yes, sir. Your consciousness has drifted to distant memories. It's time for the flashback arc! Chapter two, blast from the past. Old memories, a team's bond. Yo, these chapter titles are way too long. Yo, what's poppin'? Oh my goodness. It's a dude with tangerine hair. Are you finally awake? You've been sleeping forever. Those securities really get on my nerves sometimes. They hate us dual gang so much. Dude, check out my drip. What's with the confused look? You don't remember me? I'm Crow the Bullet Hogan. Do you have a gun? Are you okay? Do you even know where we are? Controller? Controller? Come on. You can do it. This is the depths of satellite, barbaric area after damage, or bad area for short. Barbaric area? <laughs> what? Does the gunfire dueling cards? Nah, Axel is in GX. Okay, now you're looking normal again, but let's see if you're really okay with a duel. Huh? Where's your deck? Oh yeah, securities took it from you yesterday. No problem, you can use my spare deck. Ha, I bet it's better than some guy's main decks. 
Oh man, security's confiscated everything except my main deck. Why did they take everything except the most important thing? Okay, let's go sneak into the security storage facility together and get our cards back. Oh yeah, before that, I have something I need to give you. I wonder how many people played Stardust Accelerator growing up and then heard this line of dialogue from Crow, like let's break into the security's place, and then had literal panic attacks, thinking that it would be like the first game. The, or it, not the first, but the 2009 uh, game, which was just terrible for sneaking into securities. I only have this one, so you wear it. Use this to open the door to the storage facility. Why do you have all of this illegal stuff? Storage facility key. I'll cause a distraction and lure the guards at the entrance away. That's when you sneak in and grab your deck. And don't forget my cards. The security storage facility is to the north up the coast. I'll go ahead and you let me know when you're ready. Save. All right, we're, I'm pretty sure that the uh, starter deck we're about to get kinda sucks, but we'll be able to buy cards very soon. And also I have to change in the security outfit. This is the only time in this game where they make you change your outfit, which is weird. They make it a, like a game mechanic that actually matters for this one thing, but then it never comes up again. Oh yeah, no one will notice my security uniform being all black. Nothing to worry about here. Oh, I don't stick out like a sore thumb at all. Dude, I'm so edgy. All right, I'm gonna lure out those securities guard in the gate. You hide somewhere around there. I'm on it. Hey, securities, looks like you got nothing to do. Huh? You're one of the dual gang members from yesterday. What are you even doing here then? No, it's you. Have all your bruises healed yet? Grr, you're not going anywhere, punk. Idiot. Hey, you! Stop right there, you little punk! Good one, Crow. Yeah, my outfit looks the exact same. Nothing to worry about. Now is the time to sneak into the security storage facility to retrieve your deck. See, so yeah, I think this starter deck that we're about to get is worse than the psychic deck that we were using before. Oh, I have to go over here and, like, do this. Yeah, there we go. But again, it's fine because we're very quickly going to be able to buy a lot of cards because we've built up so many points while having the, uh, the psychic deck. See you later, idiot. Ooh, mist worm. Don't mind if I do. Hey. You obtained your deck. You obtained Crow's cards. Now also take this Flamevel Magician. Thank you. All right, get me out of here. Bum, bum, ba -dum. Go, 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 go. All right, that was easy. Get me out of this outfit. Bum, ba, da, bum, ba, wrong spot. Dun, 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 no. We will be using the enforcer look for basically the rest of the game. I love the enforcer look. I'm so cool. It's Crow, Crow back at his house, I think. He sure is. Ah, oh, you're finally back. Took you long enough. There you go, buddy. Nice work. Those security losers never knew what hit them. God, my spare deck's all messed up. Don't tell me I gotta rebuild this thing from scratch. Hey, Rogue, let's duel. Yeah, you two duel while I rebuild this spare deck. You know, he's been worried sick about you the whole time you've been gone. I have not. Don't lie, you know you have. Rogue is taking so long, I hope he's okay, remember? Ha! Was not, you're a big meanie, Crow. Yeah, he is a big meanie, you're right. Okay, okay, calm down. You're always being such a little kid. Yeah, so Rogue, why don't you two duel for a bit? That might be the only thing that can cheer him up right now. And like I said, he really was worried about you. Thanks. Can I go buy cards and change my deck before fighting this kid? 
think we might be able to. No, it's closed right now. That card shop over there isn't open yet. All right. They're gonna make us use the crappy deck for a little bit. Hello, duel. Yes, give me all you got. I think this kid's deck is also hot trash though. Why does my right hand look like a triangle? Oh my goodness, he's got the best storm deck. The best? I bet it doesn't even have heavy storm in it. On what authority did he say that that deck is the best storm deck? Oh, is this the typoed card? One sir per turn. One sir per turn. I never forget this card's spelling error. This deck is actually not too bad. These are some decent cards. Uh, I don't need to use Thunder of Ruler here. Mild Storm and Slightly Inconvenient Storm. Will you be taking passwords from chat to get a single card from each? No. Do I look like I have time to be inputting passwords? If I'm gonna be inputting passwords, I may as well just cheat in all the cards. Draw? There you go. He was thinking about it. Controller, what is your problem today, man? What is your deal? During battle between this card, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, this is okay. This is good. Guess okay, so what are the most annoying decks to play against? Any deck that has honest in it. Any deck that has honest. Uh, die. This flying Kamakiri number one is not going to help you as much as you're hoping, kid. Nowadays, literally any deck? Yeah, I agree with that. Any deck invented after 2011. Maybe 2012. You dumb idiot. You shouldn't have summoned Little Wingard here. You should have done more Kamakiris. I like Little Wingard. I don't know why. I just really like that deck. I'm pretty sure anytime I made a full-on warrior deck, I would put Little Wingard in it, just because I like him. I love Light Sworns, though. That's fine. You can run Light Sworn. Just don't put Honest in it. No Honest is allowed. This is a no Honest household. That sounds really bad out of context. Oh my goodness, it's Neo Space and Air Hummingbird. I love that guy. All right, well, it's not looking good for this kid. Actually? No, it only attacks once more when it attacks a defense position monster, not just any monster. Flameville Granica is the better play here. What if the household is nothing but honest? It ain't no household of mine. Black wings have Kalut. Yeah, I also don't like black wings. Black wings are really annoying. Five hundred. Do you like desk bots? I have no idea what that is. Never heard of it before in my life. Come on, kid. You don't have a storm for this? An archetype? Okay, yeah, thanks, dude. <laughs> I figured that it was an archetype when you said, like, do you like this word that is probably a Yu-Gi-Oh word? Saying that it's an archetype doesn't... doesn't say anything. Dead. I win.
Total duel bonus one. What the heck is total duel bonus? I have no limited or semi-limited cards in this deck, evidently, I've learned. Bro, you're too good. Yeah, I'm great. Thank you for noticing. Amazing duel rogue. I'm really impressed with your skills. I was going through my cards and found one that wasn't mine. Here, you can have it. I'm gonna sell it on eBay. Seven Tools of the Bandit, actually not a bad card. Hey, almost forgot you say was looking for you. He was talking about his dual runner, so he's probably around the old highway in the northern slums. That sounds like you say. Can I get packs now? Oh baby, we can. Here we go. Alright, chat, let's go shopping. Bum, 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 bum. Spellcaster's Command? Yes. 2,000 DP worth. Bum, bum, bum. So we just make it into Mayan deck if we want to. They give you skilled Dark Magician, but not Dark Magician? You kidding me right now? You kidding me? Giant Trunade is a great get. Mage Power is amazing. Terraforming can be good. Magical Dimension is fantastic. See, this, this is what makes getting decks off the ground so much more doable in this game. Because eventually they'll, like, I don't, I don't know what makes it happen, but there will be other structure decks to buy, and it shouldn't take very long. And then we can just keep getting more structure decks for, like, more, like, really good starting card. We just got Magic Cylinder, like, guaranteed. Fantastic. Fantastic. So we can make a pretty decent Spellcaster deck right out the gate now if we want to. Uh, let's just buy a lot of the originals. 